Good to go. Okay. Are we live? Hello, live. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Chef Cheryl, and this is the Chef and with Cheryl show. Happy spring, everyone. We are brought to you by the LA South Chamber of Commerce, our Hope Foundation, which is helping other people every day. And we are here to talk about spring detoxing. Happy spring. Wow, wonderful. It's a new season. Okay, so this is called the spring equinox. Okay, started March 21st. Okay, and it goes on to, uh, to June. Okay, so what is an equinox? Okay, an equinox means that the earth is on equal day and night. Just like we had winter, we came out of winter. Now we are into spring. So this is a new season. And what do we think of when we think of spring? We think of chicks and bunnies and rain and everything. Fresh, we think of Easter, okay? So at the same time, we should be thinking about how we should clean our bodies because this is a new season. We had uh, January 1st, oh my gosh, New Year's resolution. Well, it's the, you know, it's spring now. It's another opportunity for you to begin again, for you to cleanse again. Really every day is a new opportunity, but we'll just take it a season at a time, won't we? Okay, so this is a new season. So it's time for us to think about doing new things or doing things, you know, you know, for March now, okay? So, um, you know, why? You know, why should we detox? Why should we detox? One, it's a new season, okay? But the weather changes, of course, that's okay. But um, we have new weather patterns, you know? And so we should be eating lighter because winter was pretty heavy, you know? And, you know, if we just look at the time in which we're in now, it's a very stressful time. So if we look at spring, we should look at it being a lighter burden, so to speak. So to speak, so to speak, I, um, I say that lightly. So there's new produce, there's new things. So when we look at spring, we think of newness, the newness, okay? So what we have with us today on our show is Miss Kirsten Parnell, and she is with Melanated Moments, and she is awesome, awesome. We were speaking um, in the green room before we got started, and she is also a mental health first aider also. So um, in going in the community and working with the people, we understand that we need tools, okay? We need tools to work with one another, just like I need tools to cook, okay? So Kirsten is an awesome sister. We were talking about things that were so common. We have so many things on point. And I just wanted Kirsten to just come in for a second and talk a little about what we do before I get on to some cleanses. Kirsten, are you there, my dear? Can you speak for a second? Yes, I am. Thank you. Hi, everyone. So I'm Kirsten. Um, pleasure to be here. Just following Chef Cheryl. Uh, the name of my company is Melanated Moments. We are a mind, body, spirit, and soul boutique focusing on the healing and wellness of people of color. Um, and just as Chef Cheryl stated, spring is a wonderful time to detox, to release, to move things out and bring the new in. Um, and just focusing on all that you can be within yourself, within your household, within your community, within your family. Um, seasons have changed. Things are brightening up. And it's just time to detox and release. You're on mute. Kirsten, would you like to talk about any things, any other things that you have going on right now? Now we were speaking of some, um, some projects with the youth. Yes, so right now I am putting together a boy summit. I'm looking between ages eight through 16. Um, and this will just be a day for young boys in South LA to be empowered, uh, 
inspired and transparent with what they're going through in life and see that there are other men out here who have built beneficial lives other than what we see in our streets, um, other than what we see on TV. So it's just a new way of thinking for these young men. Um, they definitely need it. So that's what I'm working on now. Very good, very good. We'll definitely talk more about this, okay? Thank you so much, Kirsten. So let's talk about some cleanses, okay? We need, again, it's the time of year. We need to start a little bit, clean up a little bit. So, you know, I practice, I, I try to practice wellness every single day. And that's the choices that we eat. That's the places that we go. It's people that we talk to, but it's all practicing wellness. So, in my travels with the colon hydrotherapist, she gave me a real simple uh, recipe for a cleanse, okay? At least she called it the apple juice cleanse, okay? And it calls for one ounce of, one ounce of uh, olive oil, okay? So we're just gonna use this little cup to demonstrate, okay? Lemon juice, lemon juice. And, and this recipe would be down in the comment section of the, of the Facebook, okay? Apple juice, two ounces of apple juice. Okay, I, I like unfiltered apple juice. You know, um, as close to raw as we can get it. Okay, two ounces, okay? Now this cleanse, if we do this twice a day for one week, we'll clear all the gook out your system. Now, this is a colon hydrotherapist that gave me this recipe. So her idea is that we're cleansing all of the colon, you know, with the oils and the lemon. And of course, apples are very detoxing. You know, we should have an apple a day. But this is a very simple cleanse. Okay, it's a very simple cleanse. She wrote it down for me. She put it on a piece of paper. I have not moved this piece of paper. Okay, so I am going to put the recipe in the comment section. So please look for it. Okay. So another way we can cleanse is smoothies, okay? Um, there have been several books that have been written on, um, on smoothies that cleanse, okay? But if we think about it and we think about all the foods, fruits and vegetables that we consume on a daily basis, and we should know about these things, these are detoxing foods, okay? These are detoxing foods that we just eat in, you know, just eat on the normal, on the regular. Okay, but this is a smoothie detox, a green smoothie detox, and it takes green grapes, bananas, spinach, okay, spinach, ice, it's nice, a little bit of water, and water, and we're going to put a little, uh, some sweet in here, like, uh, like agave nectar, just a little. Now, people drink smoothies every single day. This is just another way of detoxing and another way of getting all your green vegetables and getting all your nutrients. Now, of course, I believe, of course, in, in eating, because we need the roughage, eating the um, the leafy vegetables, but a smoothie is just a drink. Okay. They don't take a lot. They don't have a lot of, they don't take a lot of ingredients. They're not hard to make. We can get through them often. Some I have clients that I just all I do is just make smoothies for them. That's all I do: make smoothies and put them in the refrigerator. Okay, so this is a green smoothie, and it is a it is a detox smoothie at the same time because we are putting spinach, which is a great detoxifier, green grapes, yes, and apples. And we know apple a day keeps keeps the doctor away, and it's really, really, really. I can't say enough about apples. One of my favorite fruits. Yeah. Another way we can detox is Himalayan pink salt. And 
If you know me, you know I talk about Himalayan pink salt all the time, 84 minerals, um, trace elements, and um, what it does for your body. But this is also a great, an awesome, awesome detoxifier. So if you were to soak, meaning you put this a pound or more, 16 ounces or more of Himalayan salt. This is, this is stuff you put in your grinder or, you know, or you can get the fine salt. You can't, you, you can, it's, it's still salt, it doesn't matter. You still use the Himalayan salt in the shaker, but you want a pound or more of this in your bathtub. And if you soak for at least half an hour, it is equivalent to a three-day detox, okay? So, you know, I know we want to eat everything and, oh my gosh, we want to detox, we want to cleanse, we want to drink this, but there's different ways that you can detox, okay? So I just really like to mention this because, you know, one, I like taking baths and I like soaking, but, and we all, you know, should soak in some sort of Epsom salt. And Epsom salt is a detoxifier, okay? Because we all know salt. Is it, it pulls. So this Himalayan pink salt will detoxify your body, soaking it for 30 minutes, okay? Very good. That's one of my favorite, favorite detoxing agents. Favorite, favorite. I can't say enough about Himalayan pink salt. Another detoxifying agent is water. We can't get enough of it. So I have this here because our wonderful uh, member, Isabel, sells Kangan water in our LA South Chamber. So this is an awesome, awesome detoxifier. Anytime we can get water in its purest state, and it's it's been, um, it has um, a certain pH that, um, she can tell you more about it, but anyhow, water is great, okay? Water is a great detoxifier, okay? So here's some other, some other foods that are great detoxifiers. Now, mind you, these are foods that we eat every day. So having this discussion about detoxing is, is, is consistent. It's consistent because if we're eating correctly, then we're already detoxifying. If we're eating correctly already, just remember that, okay? You know, what is correctly? Well, we should be having some greens. We should be eating greens every single day. And I know if you've talked to me and I've you've been on this show, you know, I talk about eating greens every single day is good for your cognitive development. Awesome, awesome for your product, though. But it's also detoxifying, also detoxifying. So in my research, I have discovered that collard greens are really, really good at detoxifying the body. There is a, a, a chemical in these in this vegetable, and I couldn't, I really couldn't pronounce it correctly, but it's one of the better detoxifiers of green, um, green leafy foods. And guess what? It's in my garden, okay? So you got a great farm scene in the garden, okay? <laughs> but yes, collard greens. So, and we all eat collard greens. We all eat some sort of green. So, you know, we should keep it in our idea to um, make the best of whatever it is that we're eating, okay? So collard greens is one. Asparagus. Asparagus is just an awesome, awesome detoxifying agent, okay? Wonderful vegetable. I just now started liking the asparagus. Just now started liking it since it got in my in my um <laughs> in my culinary career. Berries, berries are great antioxidants, but they also detoxifiers. Blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, all good. Okay. Spinach, spinach is another detoxifying green. Okay, we should have spinach salad. Spinach smoothie, you got a spinach smoothie, okay? And definitely kale, kale, which we can put in a smoothie also, okay? So these, I really try to keep it simple, okay? There were some interesting times here and I'm finding we have to make choices with what it is that we have to spend our money on because it's either this or it's that, okay? Because it's just the world is in an interesting way. So if we can choose, to eat correctly, you know, then that would be the better choice of whatever it is that we want to choose between, you know, drive-through, spinach, 
try to <laughs> try to spin it. It's always better, okay? And it lasts longer. So we have, you know, if we're thinking about feeding our families and this being springtime, these will be some great, great um, foods to uh, incorporate, okay? I, you know, I've come across some moms sometimes, and you know, the kids aren't eating, you know, many, uh, they're not eating a lot of greens, but you know, you can definitely hide them in a smoothie. You can definitely hide those greens in a smoothie and give it to the kids in the morning. And as far as, and we also understand that's detoxifying. We also talked about how good it is for us to eat greens every day, but you know, for kids to consume a smoothie every day, it keeps the weight down, it keeps them alert, much better than those takis and whatever it is they may stop by at the store and get. It's definitely fuel for their brain, for them to go to school and learn. Definitely, what I, from the research I found, a green smoothie will keep their weight down, won't give them a sugar spike, and they'll be able to maintain their focus throughout the day. So that's just a little tidbit that, you know, that greens will do for you, okay? So we're going to do two salads because, wow, we've got green, we've got green, 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 greens, okay? And of course, we know collard greens, we can also throw them in the pot, forgive me, throw them in the pot with uh, onions and garlic, also wonderful. And collard greens are also, you can also eat them raw. Okay, I'm going to show you how I'm going to dress this kale. You can dress the collard greens the same way. Okay, so I'm going to start with a kale salad. My kale salad is one of my favorite, favorite things that I like to make. Okay, and what we start out with, because, you know, kale is, it's a hearty leaf, so it's not really easy to digest. So we're going to put a little olive oil on here. Okay. And we're going to put some lemon juice, right? Now, this breaks down the leaf a little bit. So you can eat it. And you now I, I like demonstrating this salad because it takes a little bit of hands-on, hands-on um, activity here. You have to massage the leaf, okay? Now, by massaging the leaf, you're getting all the oil and lemon into the, into the leaves. But another reason why I like this salad is because you're massaging the leaves. You're intentional in what it is that you're doing and making sure that the salad comes out. So I take this time when I'm massaging my kale is to think good thoughts about whoever's eating it. I want you to be healthy. I want you to be prosperous. I, I think about that. So, you know, intention is really important when you're cooking. We want to make sure that what it is we're eating is good for us, but at the same time, we want it good for whomever it is that we're cooking it for. So I'm doing the same thing with this collard green. And if you notice, it's getting a little bit more pliable. I use some of the oil and lemon from the, from the kale and I massage this. So at the same time, you can use it in a salad. You can cut it up and chop it up and put it in your salad. Awesome, awesome, okay? So this kale salad, we can serve with cranberries. They're not in front of me right now, but that's okay. But I just want you to see how this kale comes out. It's very pliable. It's wonderful to eat. And when you put your salad dressing on it, it's just gonna take it all in, which is awesome, okay? Well, that's kale. So here we have our spinach. Now, of course, spinach, we don't need to do too much. It's a very, very delicate leaf, okay? But all we need, all we're gonna do with this is, you know, we need spinach and blueberries are awesome. That is a salad right there with some, with some almonds. Okay, and some almonds, okay? So I have in here, I have some, this, it does say <laughs> apple cider vinegar, but it is salad dressing. So it's so an oil and vinegar salad dress, oil and apple cider vinegar salad dressing. So we're just gonna pour it on here, okay? And the same thing for the kale salad, okay? Because it, it, you, you wanna want be simple, okay? I find that when you're making salads, simple is better. 
And oil and vinegar are the best ingredient, are the best bases for salads because it's not a lot of um, not a lot of fillers, not a lot of things that are caloric, you know. And I like eating clean. And the cleaner you eat, um, the cleaner your body will be. Gosh, that means that's a detox, isn't it? Wow, wow. So Kirsten, how you doing there? I'm good. I'm enjoying this. It's so funny. I drink smoothies every day, but just uh, one of my issues is dressing, overdressing my salad. So to see a healthier version of being able to make this salad tasty is pretty awesome. Yes, yes, yes. And, and I, I and even at the salad bar, you know, I was at the salad bar yesterday and, you know, they had all the mixed salad dressings, but I came over and got the red wine vinegar and the olive oil and just made my salad dressing because it's a lot easier. We already know what exactly what's going in. So, <clears throat> and, you know, and I, it's always been my um, advice that the less ingredients, the better, because, you know, in, in this day and age, you know, we need to live healthier. And even though we have all the wonderful, wonderful foods that there are out there, they do have a lot of sugar and a lot of salt. So even if everything here that I've demonstrated, um, I didn't really introduce salt in here except for the fact that we can detox in it, just to kind of keep it simple, okay? But yes, I, I do notice in our society that we have a craving for sugar and salt. And that's because our palates weren't trained when we were younger, okay? You know, mom should have had this in front of you, the salad and the vegetables and everything. So when we grow up, we're just trained to go look for the salt and the sugar. So we have to, again, here's another opportunity with it being spring to rethink how this is that we're eating. Maybe I need to put that down a little bit. Maybe I need to rethink what this is that I'm eating. You know, we are in a new season and everything is changing. You know, we're not wearing masks as much, but we still are in a somewhat pandemic. So we have to keep our health up just for those reasons outside of it being spring. Okay, so I, I really like to encourage you on the Chef and the Cheryl show that we need to look at a better way of living. And these are examples. You know, um, spring detoxing is something, you know, it's yes, we do it every season. But if we're consciously thinking about what it is that we're eating and what we're consuming, then it should be every day. Every day we think about, OK, well, what, maybe I can go get some kale today. Or, oh man, such and such got some collard greens in their backyard. I have some in my backyard. So <laughs> there is an opportunity, you know, for you to um, think again, for you to want to try again. Okay. Kirsten, you there? You have anything you want to add to our show? Wonderful. Absolutely. Just um, in the presence of detoxing, if I can maybe just touch on not only detoxing your body, but being able to detox your home as well, um, because it all goes hand in hand, you know, mentally, spiritually, physically. Um, and I know that a lot of the times when spring comes around, a lot of our, a lot of us are used to spring cleaning, right? Um, but now you want to do it in the manner of what you were speaking with nurturing the, the kale and filling it. You want to intentionally clean your home so that you're bringing in new blessings, new beginnings, happiness, love, peace into your space. You're making your home a sacred space. Um, so whether that has to do with cleaning your uh, window sills, making sure your vents are clean, you know, removing all the dust, removing all the toxins from out of your home, switching things up like the chemical cleaners that you use, which bring asthmatic habits and toxins to your family. So those are things you want to switch out and switch up into more natural things. Like uh, if you're looking to do a spray cleaner or a window cleaner, you can simply do lemon juice 
lime juice um, with some vinegar and drop a few, a couple of drops of essential oil like lavender, which is very relaxing and soothing. And you spray that around your home. You can use it for fabric cleaner or you can use it to wipe off your counters, but you want it intentionally detox your home as well. And with that, you want to remove things that can harm your health and bring in things that are very good for you. Um, another thing that is good is an app called Detox Me. And this app is very good. You can get it on iPhones. You can get it on Androids. Again, that's Detox Me. And it tells you different ways to detox your home, different ways to detox your body with food, different ways to detox your clothing when you're washing your laundry. Because everything that we deal with um, outside of our home is bringing in toxins, basically. Um, I think I read something like Los Angeles is maybe one of the third dirtiest places so you have to be mindful of this although we live here we love it we're here for the community you have to be mindful of this when you're entering your home things like taking off your shoes so you're not bringing those debris into your home when you enter the door um the, these are all things that are very important not only in spring but just throughout the entire year you're on mute chef Thank you. That was one of the things I forgot to talk about is we are in a polluted society. So we just hit it. And that's where I, I come back to the saying, we just need to detox all the time because our environment, we are in a very toxic environment. Okay. And, and, and we learn that all the time from, from the air quality to um, just looking around, <laughs> just looking around. We are in a, in a toxic society. Thank you so much for bringing that up. That 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 really really that that was in in the in the front of my notes. <laughs> but yes, definitely another thing that I like to talk about as far as like with the Himalayan pink salt. You know, there's Himalayan salt lamps that are awesome for cleaning the air in your space. Okay, so when I talk about Himalayan pink salt. And I talk about it in different ways. There's about five or six different ways that you can use this salt that will detoxify your life, okay? Literally detoxify your life. So if you're not using Himalayan pink salt right now, shame on you. You need to go get some. <laughs> there is so many ways that you could use this. I would beseech thee, dear brethren, to go at least look this up and, and find all the all the wonderful uses for it. I cannot begin to tell you how much uh, Himalayan pink salt really helps it. So we're just gonna do a really quick review here. And we understand that we're detoxing, one, because it's spring, and two, because it's something that we need to do. We need to cleanse our bodies mentally, spiritually, physically. And because we eat every day and we eat more than once a day, we need to be more conscious of what it is that we put in our food, or put in our mouth, excuse me, because it all counts. It all counts. Every day, it counts, okay? And what are some clean detoxing foods? Well, goodness, leafy green vegetables, spinach, kale, collard greens, of which we should be eating every single day in a smoothie, um, cooked, you know, every single day. But you just remember that. Okay, berries. Berries are awesome. They're awesome, awesome fruits to have that are antioxidant and also detoxing. I love strawberries. I love blueberries. I didn't see any blackberries in the store. They're almost out of season. We're so fortunate living in California that we have produce at our disposal. That's one of the things I just have to always remind people about living in California. We may be, we may live where we live and we may think of, oh my God, the smog and everything, but we have access to wonderful fruits and vegetables, okay? So grapes, grapes are also a great detoxification and apples, apple a day will definitely go far, okay? So my name is Chef Cheryl Tate. This is the Chef and with Cheryl show. And I have had my wonderful guest, Kirsten Parnell, who was with Melanated Moments, who you will not, you will see more of us in the future as we are going to collaborate with uh, 
living space and detoxing and mental health because she is an awesome, awesome collaborator. This is the Second with Cheryl Show, and it is brought to you by the LA South Chamber of Commerce, the Hope Foundation, where we're helping other people every day. Now, I hope that this information has been some use to you. Please like, please share, please tell your friends about this. I know there's something here. There's one something here that I know you can take and run with it and tell your friends. And once you try it and you feel better, maybe you want to move on to the next thing. But just, you know, I would just say, you know, let's have some berries today. Let's have some strawberries today. Let's have a strawberry spinach salad with some berries in it, you know? That's the start. It is spring, it's colorful, it's wonderful. That's what we should be doing. Again, my name is Chef Cheryl Tate, and this is the Chef and with Cheryl Show. And I'm so glad that you're here. I am honored and privileged to be before you. And I hope to see you next month. Thank you so much. Take care now.